Alright, welcome back guys. Super awesome video planned for today. We're going to be doing a bass or walleye catch clean cook depending on uh, how lucky we get. I'm in the pontoon. We got all the stuff ready. I'm going to be going into Green Lake. Uh, that's that lake me and Peter went camping on a bit of time ago. Uh, I'll put that video in the description. But this time instead of a canoe, I'm going to be taking our JP Australia uh, paddleboard. And then I'm going to leave all my other stuff here. I got the cooler and the uh, stove and a little generator, Jack 3 generator for charging all my camera gear. I'm going to leave this on the other side of the lake, uh, still in our lake. And then I'm going to paddleboard in, catch something. If it's big enough to fit uh, to cook, then I'll bring it back onto here. And this is where I'll do all my cooking. Um, but yeah, it's going to be super fun. Haven't gone to Green Lake in a couple weeks. This is the best spot for fishing. Uh, in the area, at least that I know. Just parked right outside the portage area. So we're just gonna get in there and catch some bass. Buddy, you're gonna capsize us. Pulled up to this little rock ledge here. In this spot, I've caught a couple large and smallmouth bass here as well. So we'll give this a try before heading out a bit farther into the lake. Beautiful lake though. Super, uh, well obviously green, but then it's also very clear. You can see a lot farther down than our lake uh, because it's a young lake. It, it's a very short uh, portage to this lake from ours but it is actually not attached in any way. Ah, man, it's windy. Hop off, Lando. All right, made it to that island that we camped on and man it was not easy the wind was going against me and uh, just made it that more difficult and then Lando who's not used to being on any paddle boards was uh, 
running back and forth so I almost fell in a few times but we made it here in one piece heading over to around the other side of the small island where the fish are. Come on. Yeah. No. Yeah, got him. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Let's get this guy off. Yes. Nice size smallmouth. Gonna eat this guy, but uh, we need a bit more because I'm really hungry. Okay, so that's one smallmouth. Um, it's a okay size, it's just big enough to eat. Uh, normally I wouldn't get, uh, like, eat one that small, but I just don't know how this fishing is going to go and I don't want to lose something if I uh, don't catch anything more. But I just caught another one. Okay, second bass, second cast in this spot. This guy is a little bit smaller than the other one, so I'm gonna let him go. All right, so I'm going to uh, skin up this guy. Sorry if the wind's making a lot of noise, it's getting pretty windy. Um, skin this guy up. If I can't catch another one, then I'm just gonna eat light. All right. So he's, his head's off, fully gutted out, he's all clean and ready to go. Um, I'm gonna leave the rest until we get back. Okay, Whew. just catch my breath. Okay, so just casting over there, there's this little ledge that uh, goes out a couple feet and then drops straight down. And a whole bunch of huge smallmouth just went for my bait. Didn't hook one and then uh, they sort of swam off. The fish in this lake are not used to being, well, fished, so uh, they still swim in schools. So as soon as you cast and miss, or one doesn't bite, they'll move to a different spot. So I'm just sort of chasing them around the island right now. So, don't know how well you guys can hear since uh, the GoPro is now on my head. But we're going to be heading back to the pontoon for now. Um, we still got our one fish, so we're probably going to cook that up. Fish on! Ah. Ooh. Ooh, Lando, calm down. Nice fight, little guy. Alrighty. Alright, so we're back on the pontoon, we got our fish here, uh, we got everything we need to cook it. Sun went behind the trees, so uh, super nice shade here. Yeah, we're just going to get her cooking now. Starving do. Alright, so we got our Orion cooler here, I'm going to be using this to fillet our nice fish. But we've already gutted and cleaned out the fish, cut off its head, so now we're just going to get our fillet knife. And we're going to cut down into the side, right here. And then we're just going to take our knife and go all the way along 
uh, the backbone till we get to here and they'll all just cut off. Now, you can cut the rib cage off. You can be taking the skin off. Uh, some people leave it on, but I don't like it, so. Same thing as when you're cutting off the filet, you just press down, go right against the, the skin, and just drag your knife along the bottom. Now we're just going along, cutting out the other bones. Wash it out. Okay, now we just need our little propane burner. Twist it on. We got all of our fish here. Just gave an extra rinse. But, um, all we're gonna be doing is battering this. Better battering this little bag. Now I did forget an egg, but the uh, bass is already wet enough where it should soak up most of it. So we're just gonna drop our fish right inside the bag. Our delicious little fillets. Close her up. And then just shake it around, press it. Try and get as much of that batter on that fish as we can. So, like I was saying, this is just a normal store-bought uh, fish batter. I did add a couple spices to it, uh, some critter glitter, Cajun, and some other peppers, uh, along with salt and pepper. So, whatever I think the batter needed. So it's all good, all ready to go. Put that down and then uh, Get the stove working. Got a grapeseed oil here. Just gonna pour as much as I think we need in here, which is going to be a pretty good amount. Ooh. Okay, let's get our fish in there. Let them fry. Let me see. Let's test it one more time. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Oh, these fillets look so beautiful. Wow. Ooh. Wow, look at that. That's what we're looking for. Wow. Ouchie. Wow! That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna give it a little flip here. Oh, no way. Oh, ha oh, ha. Oh. Look at that. All right, that looks about done. Oh, did you hear that? Wow. Wow. That, that is just amazing. So now comes the final part. It looks beautiful, but now it's time to see how well it tastes. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of bass, so 
Look at that. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. It's got a perfect layer of crunch on the outside. Oh, I feel proud of myself. Gentle. Oh, is that yummy? Is that yummy or what? Give me a high five, man. That is some good cooking. All right, I'm just gonna chill here, eat the rest of the fish. It's been an awesome day. Uh, definitely wanna do these catch clean cooks more often. They're delicious. We're just gonna chill here for a bit, me and Lando, eat some fish, and then head back. That's it for this video, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please leave a comment telling me so. Uh, I have a lot of fun making them and I hope you guys enjoy them. But uh, yeah, we got some very exciting videos coming up. Make sure to stay tuned for those. And uh, catch you later. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, let's go! Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. It's okay, yeah. I didn't die. I'm okay.